Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Carlson Power Tools in under 10 minutes. I'm your host, Gary Rosen. Some of you know me as Professor Landnut. I'm the Regional Sales Director for Canada for Carlson Software. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a good summer. That's what we call here in New Hampshire, not winter. Our power tool, our sponsor for this episode, is the lowly awesome scale. It's a triangular, six-sided tool, plastic, wood, metal, been around for a long time. We use them to measure distances on a plotted map, a plotted drawing. We have been drawing scale drawings for millennia. Maybe back in the day it was done with a stick in sand showing where things were near where we lived. Maybe the breadth of our hand was a day's ride and we would show three hand widths to the west. There's a, a prairie full of a bison. Um, we've been doing scaled maps forever in our history. It's quite remarkable. We now build models in CAD and in other software that is that are not scaled models. They're full size models. Everything measures correctly. That's why they're called digital twins, because they're not scaled, they're full size. But we still sometimes plot our work, and we plot it as a scale drawing, and we still need this power tool to measure distances. And that's why it's our power tool for today, brought to you by the scale. So what we're going to look at today is something new and exciting in Carlson software. 2024 introduced the ability to access Esri REST services. So um, in 2025, just came out a few weeks ago, um, this is version IntelliCAD 12.1, and um, I want to give a tip of the hat to Rick Ladd, who introduced me to this whole concept at the Massachusetts uh, survey show earlier this year, and um, I had not been familiar with it. I saw what Rick did with it, and I realized uh, he had really discovered something very important. So thank you, Rick. So we're in our scale, uh, we're in our drawing, our CAD drawing. I've assigned a projection. So in my drawing setup, I'm in metric. My projection is Canada, NAD 83, UTM zone 19 north. And the key is to assign a projection to your drawing, step one. Step two, I'm going to go to Google Earth and I'm going to put in an address, 121 Charlotte Street and St. John, New Brunswick. Beautiful St. John, New Brunswick. If you haven't been there, it's definitely worth a trip. And here's our property that we're interested that we have a project to work on. So the next thing I'm going to do in Google Earth Pro is I'm going to put a polygon around our lot, just very simply say this is the area that we're interested in right here. We're going to come up here and call it 121, oops, 121 Charlotte Street, St. John, New Brunswick. Okay, and we will save that in Google Earth. Now we would right click and save this place and we're going to come in here to Power Tools 11, and we're going to save this as a KMZ. All right, that's what we're going to do in Google Earth. Now back in CAD, back in Carlson, we're going to say File Import, and we're going to come down here, and we're going to import Google Earth file, which is a KML, KMZ, and we're going to go get our file, and we're going to draw it and zoom extends. So this is an empty drawing, but now I know where I am. I, now I know I'm in downtown New Brunswick. Now I can do the magic trick. I'll say GIS data. I'll say REST services, import Esri, and I'm going to switch to the New Brunswick published REST services for parcels. You've got to look and do research to find what is published, what's posted in your state, in your country, in your province. Wherever you are, you have to see what data is available. And it has to be a, a REST service in, for this particular tool to work. We're going to look for parcels uh, from this uh, data. And we're going to 
import and we're just going to draw a window around our parcel and like proverbial magic it drops all the parcels in maybe I want a few over here as well whichever area that I want and I've got detail now as I zoom in a little closer I can get additional detail depending on what I need okay but this is a new phenomenon folks this is pulling data from the cloud that's been published and I can instantly in, insert it into my work environment to help me do the work that I need to do. I'm going to erase this polygon right here. I'm going to help and uh, put a symbol. Let's put a star. Let's insert a star here and let's make it uh, 20. And let's stick it on our lot right there so we know which is our lot. And um, the next thing I'll do is I need to send the crew out here to try and find the corners of this lot and try and find surrounding a butter's corners or maybe down the street so we can draw up the lot the abuttering lots some of the neighborhood and do a deed correlation to monuments found we're going to send them out there with gps we're going to send them out there uh, with a metal detector but what we can now send them out there with if we switch to survey is we can say survey kogo create points from entities We'll go ahead and start with point number 1000. We'll put a description of lot corner. We'll say OK. We'll take polylines, which is what was drawn from the import rest. We'll pick all of our parcels right here in our neighborhood. Let's grab all these guys too down here. Let's just get a nice big window. And we'll get some of the abutting lots over here because we don't know what they're going to be able to find. So let's go with that. Let's take this guy too. And we will, let's not use this one. Let's get rid of the, some of these here. And press enter. And it will set Carlson points and store them in the coordinate file for every lot corner uh, as known by the REST service by the parcel database. So now we have survey points. We have a, a coordinate file a data that we can send the crew out with the CRD with points for every lot corner they might be able to go look for to help pin down our lot, to help establish it with some control around in the neighborhood, and just give them a, a heads up and an extra helping hand to go find what they need to do out in the field. I think that's going to be extremely interesting, useful new tool. Try it out and let me know if that helps. Okay, a couple more things. We're going to go back to GIS and we're going to say Google Earth image. Place a Google Earth image. We're going to call this one 2024-3 uh, because I've done a few before this. We'll say use the screen and I'll just grab a big nice swatch of the neighborhood here so I can drop in Google Earth imagery to also help with additional information about what's in the neighborhood to help find things, help orient myself and the crew as to what we're doing here. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is just kind of another interesting thing I think. I'll say view and I'll say freeze layer by picking. I'll go ahead and freeze my imagery and I'll freeze my points really quick. And now what I'm going to do is switch over to my title block. And what I need to do here is um, I need to do a locus in the corner here. So what I'll do is I'll go into this uh, window and zoom extents. And what I can do is very simply zoom up here on our lot, figure out how much of the neighborhood I need to show. And there's my locus plan. I'm throw a few street names on to help identify where it is. It depends how big an area you need to show, but you can just zoom in and out and you've got a beautiful, easy, quick way to do a locus just as kind of a nice little added feature there. So um, I hope that's helpful. I hope this is good information for you to try. If you don't have GIS, you can get a 30 day demo and add it to whatever license you have. If you're new to Carlson and you're demoing something, demo GIS with whatever else you're trying. 
a survey, civil, point cloud, point cloud advanced. Uh, take a look at GIS. It's got some great tools and, and uh, improving all the time. So that's your power tool for this episode. I hope that was helpful. Um, thanks very much for taking the time, and uh, we'll see you uh, next time. Thanks very much. Bye.